are four days out from the CIM Marathon 2023. Uh, which will be my third marathon. I ran it uh, last December. Um, and yeah, we're a few days out. My last little kind of workout, nothing too too much, too serious, just a 20 minute warm up. Um, changed shoes, now I'm about to do two miles straight, which is gonna be around 5.43, 5.45, 5 5.50 at the slowest. And then I'll do about a three to five minute cool down, easy jog, and then I'll do a fast half mile, fast 800 meters. Um, fun little workout here in uh, Pinkerton Park in downtown Franklin. Uh, we leave tomorrow, we as in me and my film guy, Drew, who's on camera, uh, leave tomorrow to go to uh, Sacramento uh, for the weekend. So it's gonna be an incredible experience. Um, Hoping for a big PR. My PR is a 236.47, which I ran last year. I was gonna try to go sub 230. We'll get into why I don't think I can do that, but I think I'll be low 230s, I hope. But that felt good to get the legs moving. Shit got any jitters. Four days out, I wanna go change my shoes, get a little cool down in. You know, just had two flights, so um, it's gonna be good to get the legs moving and shaking out a little bit. Probably be up around six and a half, seven miles max. Uh, gonna be an easy pace. Ideally, nothing faster than 730s, so it'll be that 730 to eight minute window is what I'm gonna wanna be at, but when I'm in a new location that's beautiful, my, I get really excited, and so I tend to run quicker, which I gotta really keep that in check. Um, because what I run today is going to affect tomorrow, what I do tomorrow is going to affect Saturday, and it's going to all stack on and affect what I do Sunday. So. minutes it was about six and a half miles at 745 average pace hamstrings feeling a little tight I've been dealing with this hamstring issue since early September when I was in Italy shooting a buddy's wedding um, I just haven't been able to get it right we figured out the problems my left glute med my hip area is so freaking tight it's causing and pulling everything from the right side causing this tension causing this pinching feeling in my hamstring that I've been dealing with I, I am in shape I'm the best shape of my life uh, it's just that I'm kind of working through this hamstring situation. So felt a little tight today, but gonna roll out tonight. Gonna you know roll out tomorrow. Eat well, drink a lot of water, stay hydrated. The the, the tapering 
um, as marathoners know, is a mental battle. Feeling like you're losing the fitness, all the work that you've put up in 12 weeks to like radically reduce your mileage. It's a lot of battles up here these next few days. Uh, if I can conquer that, I, I, feel, I feel capable of doing something really special. But right now, we are going to uh, go to my sister Katie's house. I stayed with her last time when I ran stadium last year. And uh, yeah, my amazing half sister Katie and her younger brother Tommy, but then her daughter Claire, my niece, um, will be hanging out, having pizza, just vibing out. It's December 1st, 8.24 a.m. Woke up, it was pretty hot in here, so I opened that window there. Cats were jumping in. It was a whole episode last night. But, I'm a little congested on my deviated septum side. Um, today, so that's just because it was cold out kind of situation. Um, I have a little bit of a headache, which is weird. So after saying goodbye to the family, to the sister and niece, uh, we made our way towards Sacramento, had a little stop for breakfast at Noah's Bagel, and uh, got a delicious bagel sandwich. Uh, these two to three days out before the race uh, to carb load is such an important piece of the marathon build and the marathon process. Uh, that's gonna be key when it comes to race day. Uh, and you're exerting yourself, and uh, more specifically to top off your glycogen levels. We made our way to Sacramento, uh, which was a lovely drive. It was very beautiful. The weather was incredible. My filmmaker, Drew, it was his first time in California, so he was just losing his mind uh, over the landscape. Once we got into town, we got to meet up with my good friend uh, Eric Floberg, who he and his team filmed the documentary Moving Still about my life and my life story. And he also was running uh, CIM, so it was cool to grab a bite to eat and kind of talk. So this is a place where we ate lunch multiple times last year, so to visit again and to get in the right headspace was uh, just really, really um, beautiful part of uh, this weekend for me. It wasn't, it wasn't right. Let's go see the bandit film. Now that I'm here, I'm just like, I'm in a good headspace. I think it was just getting out here and, yeah, feeling good. Yeah, I'm just like, I want to You know, having ran growing up and then getting into photography, so to come back to my first love in such a special, organic way, it's been a really good fusion. Oh my god, yeah. it's like, it's a dream. Yeah. Yeah. I'll Dude, see you rest up, okay. cover well, and yeah, let it fly. Yeah, I'll see you, I'll see you later. Yep.
Fisher. <laughs> Okay, so mile 21. Two hours and three seconds. Two hours and three seconds. So however much I'm over Just that. Just remember two hours. That's how much. Yeah. Right. Just two Forget hours. the two, three seconds. Well, yeah. I mean, the three that's seconds is helpful if you, have to if you have to make up time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, boys. We were just saying it's not that serious. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you, dude. Yeah. Yeah. You too. <laughs> see you out there. Hopefully, Hopefully we'll see you guys in the morning. Yeah, I'll be in there. Look at the video. You'll see the gas station. I'll be in there. And it was just too long. I was just like, this is. See you 26.2 miles later.
I'm feeling good, boys. And Shane Classic. Thank you. is a hard one to swallow. I hit my half marathon split perfect. As soon as about mile 15 hit, I knew I was in. I was in for a wild ride. And um, that's the first time in my marathon career that I've had that, that I've hit the wall. Just kept uh... Kept thinking about Oliver. And just like, just telling myself, like, read by example, you know, to when things get hard, to just not give up, but to push through. And so, yeah, he carried me through. Yeah, you were just saying the other day how you want to teach him to finish whatever he starts. So, yeah, yeah I, wish I, knew, I wish I knew what was coming. <laughs> My God. I didn't know it was going to expect it to be, you know, this race, but yeah, it's, um... All right, text me. Okay. Proud of you. Thank you, babe. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. I was in a moment of, of struggle, a moment of pain, a moment of going through that amount of discomfort from mile 16 to 22. And I'm very grateful for that CIM experience because I learned so much about racing, about strategy, about pacing, about listening to my body. I mentally gave up multiple times, but this idea of, of, of teaching him to not give up when things get challenging and difficult allowed me to step right back into that discomfort, right back into that pain. And, and as Oliver gets older, I plan to encourage him, when you set your mind to something, that you give it your all and you do not quit and you do not give up. <laughs> I'm just a month out from the Boston Marathon 2024, my first time running Boston, and I'm very excited and grateful for this Boston build, and I cannot wait to see what happens. We've got Chicago later in the year, 2024. Baby, we're just getting started. While this video stands out from the rest on my channel, one element I insisted on keeping consistent was the music. Fortunately, I switched to music bed, so I've been able to rely on their extensive collection of music to help fuel my creative process. Lately, I've made it a habit to bring my headphones on my easy runs, allowing me to explore music bits, curated playlists. 
It's become a therapeutic routine for me. Musicbed offers the largest curated catalog of music for films, movies, and advertising, providing a range and depth that I've only recently come to appreciate. Even the documentary about my story, Moving Still, crafted by my friends from the Creative Club in Chicago, exclusively featured songs from Musicbed's diverse catalog. Right now, Musicbed is offering a 14-day free trial so you can switch and see the difference yourself. Switch to Musicbed today with the link in my description. Thank you, Musicbed, for making this video possible.